This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright, so now that the series is done and dusted there are a couple of key talking points that I want to zoom in on my viewers and subscribers. And for this video, I know that um, some persons might be upset when they hear this because everybody have their favorite player and everybody have their own opinion of what should or should not happen to a particular player. All right, so basically I'm going to be ta um, taking a look at a couple of the stats, you know, to see whether or not it's time for some of our players to go back and play some regional cricket and to develop their skills further. Now, before I even go down into the numbers too much, my viewers and subscribers, I am just going to say it up front and outright. You see, John Campbell, boy, he's definitely a goner for me. He's a goner. It's time for him to go and play some regional cricket. And, you know, and as I said, people going to say, boy, I might be looking at it too harshly, but... Um, based on the stats that I am going to be reading out now, he's a goner. So just prepare your minds for that um, from now, my viewers and subscribers. All right, before I, before I even take a look at the, at the Sri Lanka stats, though, um, I'm just going to rewind a little bit um, to, to, the, to the test matches that you know, Campbell would have played before this Sri Lanka uh, match um, series. In 2020, my viewers and subscribers, we had um, three tests against England. So, you know, he was basically given the opportunity to bat um, in six innings. So, going up against England, he got the opportunity to bat six times. Now, the first game, he, um, he produced 28 and 8. The second game, he had scores of 12 and 4. The third game, my viewers and subscribers, he had 32 and 0. Now, looking at it um, from a combined uh, point of view, my viewers and subscribers, he would have notched up a total of 84 runs in six innings, all right? 84 runs in six innings. And I am not the best mathematician in the world, but I am thinking that is an average of run about 14. My viewers and subscribers will, um, will, will let me know in the comment section if I am misquoting anything. So 84 runs in um six innings that would give you 14 as the average based on what i am calculating here all right my viewers and subscribers that type of performance just can't work at all right anyways they went on the selectors and the captain and the coach they you know they, they decided that here what we're going to go on again with john campbell we're not going to use one series to judge him so here comes new zealand and we had two test matches against New Zealand, right? In those two test matches, Campbell batted four times, all right? Two per, per, per game, you see it? Getting scores of 26, 2, 14, and 68, right? My viewers and subscribers. So that's a total of 110 runs, right? Better than the England tour, yes, but the average still wasn't healthy. Talking about an average of 27.4 for that um, tour, um, for that uh, series against New Zealand, right? So the coaches and the selectors decided that boy, they were going to, um, you know, they were going to continue with him as it regards to that Bangladesh tour, you know, because, you know, he would have made um, a half century there in the last uh, test against um, New, uh, New Zealand. So, yeah, man, they decided that they're going to continue with him. All right. So going to Bangladesh, my viewers and subscribers, that would have been a good opportunity for um, Campbell to basically go out and stand and, and, and stamp his class, seeing that a lot of the, the first choice um, players were out of the team. Right now. Going to Bangladesh, my viewers and subscribers, we're talking about scores like 3, 23, um, 36, and 18, right? That's um, a combine of 80 runs, an average of 20, my viewers and subscribers, right? So we, we, we already see that, you know, England, New Zealand, and Bangladesh. So three tours um, he went on, right? All right, my viewers and subscribers. So seemingly being the luckiest man in the camp, Campbell once again was called 
for um for for this uh series that we played against Sri Lanka here. Right? I can understand that if you don't want to chop and change and change up too much things um in you know, my viewers and subscribers. So boy, even though he had such a poor run out in those three series, he was given the opportunity again to play um the, the two test matches against Sri Lanka. And let us take a look at this at, at the scores. We're talking about scores like 42, 11, 5 and um 10 right those were his scores um in those four innings an average of 17 all right my viewers and subscribers so i leave it for you to tell me viewers and subscribers what you think about those performances from campbell right i think enough is enough my viewers and subscribers um that is enough chance um those would have been enough chances for john campbell to come and to prove that boy you know he's worthy um of that opening slot right there so i am not even going to say anything much i'm going to let the numbers do the talking um putting everything together now my viewers and subscribers we're talking about a combined total of 342 runs uh right um at an average of 19 my viewers and subscribers 19 right as me say i won't say anything else i just give you the numbers and i'm going to let you guys do the talking all right, my viewers and subscribers. So based on those numbers, you will decide whether or not we need um, to find somebody to pair with our um, with our captain Craig Brathwaite at the top of the order, right? So those are a couple of pointers thus far. Um, not only in that Sri Lanka um, tour, but I also gave you some numbers from um, the last three test series that uh, Campbell would have been a part of. So going down the line, the number three spot. All right, so another key talking point would be the number three slot. And um, Jamaican Nkuma Bana has basically uh, made that spot um, his own, you know, if I am being honest. You know, a couple of half centuries and also a century, you know, he performed really well um, in that series against Sri Lanka. He was, uh, he was unable to bat in the second innings of the last test because of that injury um, that he picked up. But based on what I am, I, I am seeing um, of Nkuma, Banama viewers and subscribers, the number three slot is safe and should remain for Nkuma, Bana for right now. Now, the number four slot, Kyle Myers. My viewers and subscribers, um, this player is very attacking. He has shown that boy, you know... It seems as if he would be very good in, in, in 50 over, but, you know, the, the chances that he would have been given in the test um, series so far, you know, he has come up trumps and he has delivered. He delivered against Bangladesh and, you know, I would say that boy delivered against Sri Lanka. Also, you know, that double century um, against Bangladesh is still carrying some weight plus, um, you know, those performances that he would have put up against Sri Lanka. And I don't want you to forget, my viewers and subscribers, he's also contributing with the ball, getting the ball to swing, you know, be, you know, um, he's an option that the captain can call on. So Kyle Myers, he's safe right there. So um, the opening slot, we, we look at that already. The, another key slot, the number three, Bonner, and um, Kyle Myers is also safe right there, in my opinion. No, I didn't remember um, Craig Brathwaite, my viewers and subscribers, at the top there. So it goes without saying. Um, there were some amount of concern when, um, you know, he was given the captaincy because, you know, leading up to that, he wasn't doing so well with the bat, but, um, a, a big century and a half century and his leadership out there on the field, you know, his intuition, using his guts and all of that to make decisions, um, that is, um, sign and seal and dusted. Craig Brathwaite is going to be leading um, our batting for some time to come. You know, so yeah, man, Craig Brathwaite is good. So um, we, we work out the openers, we work out the number three, we work out the number four. So we're going down quite nicely. All right, Jermaine Blackwood, my viewers and subscribers, um, getting promoted to the vice captain slot. You know, it means that he needs to step up and um, needs to start making some runs. And, um, you know, one could say that the runs that he got in Bangladesh and probably, um, in the other, uh, in the other, um, in the other series that we would have played leading up to this, you know, he's still carrying some amount of weight because, uh, in, in, uh, in this series against Sri Lanka, he wasn't, um, in the best of form at all, you know, especially the ways that he got out, you know, um, they, they, they are, they, they were really not, 
um, very, very good, you know, to, 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 to say that boy, the man is the vice captain and is expected to score some runs. So, um, German Blackwood will need to step up where that is concerned. But as regards to his spot, I am thinking that they might give him another, um, couple of series to see what, what he will do. Yeah, man. But, um, with this time off, I am thinking that he's going to need to work on his defense, work on his shot selection. And if he can mix that with his good, aggressive, um, natural behavior that he, that he has as regards to batting, then he should be a force to reckon with. For right now, I am thinking that he is going to stay. All right. So, so that's another key point that I need to point out. Um, Blackwood will be staying. Jason Holder, Da Silva, Cornwall, and Kemar Roach, my viewers and subscribers, they are going to be keeping their slots as it regards to the test team. Yeah, man. Um, Jason Holder, he has been proving why he is the number one test all rounder, getting some runs and also helping to 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 get some wickets for us. So goes without saying, Jason Holder, you know, he has been performing very well. Uh, da Silva seems to be somebody that is very um very very solid not only with the bat but you know he's doing very well behind the wicket might have dropped a catch off um the bowling of shannon gabriel in that last test there but uh da silva seems to be somebody that you know will be very good for us um for years to come who to tell he might be even be, he might even be required to bat um further up the order uh if if so be the case and i mean and I, I am aware that you know he is going to have to keep for 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 the for the for the entirety of the game. So putting him further up the order might be too much um, of a ax. But he's solid like that. So that's Silva, Jason Older, and our lead pace man Kemar Roach. Those are our safe slots, my viewers and subscribers. So another key talking point: our bowlers, two of our main bowlers, Roach and Hola, are safe. Our wicket keeper safe. Um, as regards to Alzari Joseph, my viewers and subscribers, he will need to work on his wicked taking delivery. I would have um, spoken about this on several occasions. Yeah, man, yeah, um, you know, he's bowling with good pace. He's running in, hitting the deck very hard. And, you know, another thing that I need um, Alzari Joseph to sharpen up on is his attitude, my viewers and subscribers. I don't know how many persons would have seen the way how he reacts when, um, you know, a ball is misfeel or if somebody drop a catch off his bowling. I know naturally you are going to react if you are bowling and things don't go your way. But you don't want to take it to the level where, you know, you're, 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 it's like, boy, you want to abuse your teammate. Not only by words, but with your facial expression to a certain extent. I know a man going to be upset, but you have to watch your attitude also, especially as a young player coming in. So um, I am going to say that Alzari Joseph is safe. So he, he also takes up um, another key spot. He's safe right there. Now, for the final person, um, Shannon Gabriel, my viewers and subscribers, we see where Shannon Gabriel, you know, he actually got himself injured on the final day of play. And I am thinking that this will, you know, this will be a good little period for him to basically look at himself, search himself and see where he's at as it relates to his career. You know, um, something like an injury is not something that, you, you, you know, you want to wish on a player. But based on the form that he is in now, I am thinking that it's you know it will be a good time for him to start to search himself and to see whether or not you know he is doing the job for us and you know what he needs to improve on going forward. Because at the end of the day, there are a couple of young pace bowlers coming up that are eyeing this um the you know that are eyeing the spot on the team talking about people like Preston McSween um and listen um Philip there from from Trinidad and Tobago you know a lot of young pace bowlers coming up that will be looking towards um getting themselves in that uh in that team also um O'Shea Thomas from Jamaica is out of sight. No, he's not fit any at all. But this will, you know, they, they have a good break, a good period of time before any other um any other series. So who to tell him he might, he might um put in the work and get himself back fit playing some some club cricket and thing. So you know Gabriel will definitely need to look at um what is happening where his career is concerned. But if I am to you know say it in in a couple of words, Shannon Gabriel would um, if it is the case that he, he, he was he was fit, if he finished the, the, the series fit 
um, he, he definitely, based on, on those performances, you know, I definitely would have to give him a break out of the team. So those are the two players that I, you know, I definitely thinking that I would have to give a break. John Campbell, Shannon Gabriel, and, you know, Azari Joseph is safe. He will need to work on things a little bit, but he, he is all right. But generally speaking, my viewers and subscribers, um, the, the team is heading in, in, um, in a good direction. Uh, so a couple of young players, come, new players coming in, you know, showing that they are thirsty, they are hungry for this. You know, a couple of people ch um, trying to protect their wickets and thing. Yeah, man. So um, going forward, I am thinking that there, you know, there is always going to be room for improvement. But um, as it relates to, to this series that we just finished here, where Sri Lanka is concerned, um, the team didn't do too badly at all. We didn't win the test series, but it is what it is, my viewers and subscribers. People coming in and they are gelling together. The chemistry is building and it's, you know, we have a good thing going, if I am going to be honest. Um, if we if we are also to look at, um, the, the, you know, I, I, I had said that boy, I was going to talk about the key areas. No, not necessarily pointers, but the key things coming out. Let's recap again. We're talking about um, that opening slot. We're definitely going to need somebody to go there with Craig Brathwaite. Uh, that number three slot, you know, Banner, Myers, they are they are good there. That Silva, those guys are good. Hola, um, Roach and, 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 and Carnwall, you know, they, they are okay. But going forward, we definitely need to get somebody to open the innings. And we're going to need another pace bowler. If we're going to go with all um, three fast bowlers plus Jason Ola, we're going to need somebody else. Because right now, Gabriel, you know, he isn't, it, it doesn't seem as if he's, insert right now so he will have to sort himself out and come again um as it regards to to the rest period the guys will have some rest a uh, couple of our players will be going off to the ipl kirk brathwaite and roach will be taking up um offers over there um in uh, playing some county cricket in england so you know i think i'm going to make a video talking about uh brathwaite and roach going off to play county cricket but uh as a regards to, to the to those uh couple of teams that we would have taken on, you know, we, we would have seen some amount of improvement against England. You know, we, we, we didn't get much. New Zealand didn't get much, but you know, we gradually improved a little new players coming in, took the opportunity. Uh that, that series against Bangladesh is where it kickstart and now against Sri Lanka. So wrapping up those um those four little series in a bow, we didn't do too badly at all, my viewers and subscribers. And I think we have a start and we can build on it. As I said, this one, you know, a lot of my opinion, you know, I have in this one, not only facts, things that I think. So a lot of my, my, my viewers won't probably won't agree with me. But as per usual, the comment section is open. So all you have to do is go in the comment section and let me know what you think about um, these areas that I would have touched on. And if there are anything else that you want that, that you think I didn't touch on, just bring it up and let me know what you guys are thinking. Sports to the bone, keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out.